Okay, now I want to show you a few things. This is the old furnace that was just taken out of here. Uh, still in the basement, as you can see. That's the new furnace they put in. They had to shut this one down as an emergency. It was an immediate health hazard uh, right away. He shut it down right away and uh, told me this thing's been in really bad shape for quite a while. Uh, now here's the new one they replaced it with. Uh, seems to be working better, I guess. Now here's a date and everything on this uh, motor, so maybe find out a little bit about it. But my concern is that we've been complaining about the smell of oil. This is an oil burning stove and everything for quite a while. And now I came to take a look at this. I was going to take it apart to get it up here where there's no stairs. i got to rebuild the stairs. But when I was looking at it, I don't know if you can see here. But if you can see that, I'm going to be taking this out. That's a MIG weld where somebody has tried to fix this. There's that there it was improperly fixed there. You still see the damn wire hanging off of the welds and down there you can see where the black is and everything like that. I don't know if you can see it but you can see that's been bad for quite a while. This here it looks like the whole end of this was gone and it looks like they welded in another piece. There's another big hole down in here. I'll be taking this heat exchange out, so I'll be showing you all of it. Like I said, there's a couple there. There's, well, there's still another hole right there. And you can see that there's a, and I haven't gotten to the other side of this yet, but you can see all kinds of damage and everything in here, like old. And there's another couple of holes there in the heat exchanger. I will be looking at the other side. My major concern is, is that you're not allowed to fix these. You know, if they're gone, they're gone. You put in a new one, as you can see. Can you see the weld there? This is a. Let me try and get this. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, see the weld there. There's one weld there. There's another weld there. And there's another one in here that came off somewhere. But to show you the condition of this heat exchanger has been like this for quite a while. We've brought a, like I say, we've complained about it for since we moved in here. When the first people that came in, this was so bad that they had to use a it was plugged up so bad they had to use a chisel and a hammer to knock all the crap out between these fins and everything. So I don't know whether they came in and welded that or whatever, but I can't see them welding all that there. I don't know. I'll know better when I take it out, but I just want to make sure you, everybody can see that somebody's been tampering with this. Either Dave and Don and used it from an old house, thought they'd fix it and put it in this house and uh, it hasn't been fixed properly so I really don't know here's some of the information right fuels here now since I've been here 10 years these are the only guys right fuels are the people I call and they send out a very a team the last few guys like I are not the last ones but the ones prior they were pretty bad they did the there we go I'll be taking pictures of this anyway but as you can see all the black here that's what we were breathing look at all that look at all that in there you yeah, don't know if you can see that hang on a second I'm going to try and get rid of this autofocus Okay, I think I got it on manual. Now you can see, see all that 
card in the bottom of that there on that set. See it there? That's all just soot. All that, just just a big pile of soot. That's what we've been breathing in for God knows how long. I don't know, here's... I don't know, but I will be taking this apart and showing you the rest of the heat exchanger. I can't believe this, that somebody would actually try to repair a weld. Yeah, there's a one down there where it came off. Lighting up. Yeah. There we go. Just in terrible, terrible. Terrible condition and it has been for a long time. This thing, look at that. Look at that. And they, all that weld they threw in there and they still didn't fix the damn hole. Just let it leak onto us, into our lungs for 10 years. You know, and I've been telling them and telling them and telling them. You know, it wasn't until this got so bad you couldn't even breathe the air in here anymore. My wife and I were getting sick, headaches like 90. We haven't been feeling good for a few years, but it got really bad, and this thing was so just anyway. So they finally said to uh, give him a call, and I called him, and within minutes he had it shut down. So and that's it. So this is a documentary of what's going to be happening with this furnace. I'll be taking it apart, and there we go. Okay, so thank you very much.